Ever wondered how machine learning models work? How they make sense of the vast seas of data that we humans can't possibly process? Well, one such method they use is the Gaussian Mixture Model, or GMM for short. Imagine you're at a party, a party filled with a variety of people. Now imagine trying to group these people based on certain characteristics, maybe their height or their shoe size. That's essentially what a Gaussian Mixture Model does, but instead of people at a party, it's dealing with data points in a data set. The GMM uses something called a Gaussian distribution. Think of a bell curve, with the highest point representing the average value and the curve spreading out on either side. In a GMM, each group or cluster of data is represented by a different Gaussian distribution. These distributions overlap, creating a mixture of Gaussians, hence the name Gaussian Mixture Model. Now, in some data sets, the clusters are clearly separated. In others, well, they're all mixed up, like a fruit salad. In these cases, it's hard to tell where one cluster ends and another begins. This is where the GMM shines. It doesn't just assign each data point to a single cluster. Instead, it calculates the probability that a data point belongs to each cluster. So, a data point can belong to multiple clusters at the same time, but with different probabilities. This is the beauty of the GMM. It doesn't deal in absolutes, but in probabilities. It embraces the uncertainty, the fuzziness of real-world data. It's like saying, I'm not sure if this person at the party is a basketball player or a model. They could be both, but I think they're more likely to be a basketball player. Now, to calculate these probabilities, the GMM uses a method called expectation maximization, or EM for short. The EM algorithm is like a detective trying to find the most likely explanation for the data. It starts with a guess, then iteratively refines this guess until it finds the best fit for the data. To wrap things up, the Gaussian Mixture Model is a powerful tool in machine learning. It uses Gaussian distributions to model clusters in a data set and calculates the probability that a data point belongs to each cluster. The GMM shines when dealing with fuzzy, overlapping clusters and uses the expectation maximization algorithm to find the best fit for the data. So next time you're at a party, think about how a GMM would group the people around you. And remember, in the world of data, nothing is ever black and white. It's all just a mixture of Gaussians.